Welcome back, data enthusiasts. Today we are diving deeper into the exciting world of data extraction with Python and Scrappy. If you watched our previous video, you are already on the path to becoming a data ninja. But if you missed it, don't worry, we will catch you up in no time. In this part 2, we will be focusing on getting your environment set up for some serious data magic. So grab your thinking caps, fire up your cables and let's get started. First, we need to have Python installed and ready to go. If you are new to Python, don't panic. We will guide you up through the process step by step. We will head over the python.org website, then choose the Python downloads button from the top bar as you see. Then choose Windows as my operating system is Windows. If your operating system are Mac, you will choose Mac. If it's not, you will choose other operating system. We will be using in this course Python 3.10, the last version of 3.10 as it's the last stable version. More stable than 3.11 version. And choose also 64-bit Windows system which suits my Windows 64-bit system and install it by double click then click install now after checking the box of add python.exe.2 the best and after clicking install now it will begin to install python on our windows system as you see and after finishing installing python we will click close then start our cmd or terminal in mac cmd for windows and click open right inside our terminal or command prompt Python and click enter it shows us that Python 3.10.11 is installed at our Windows 64 bit system right exit it will return us to our directory as you see now that you have Python up and running it's time to create your environment. Now we will create a virtual environment inside our selected Scrappy Python virtual environment folder. Then uh, inside that folder, after adjust the directory to be our uh, direction. We will add Python dash m venv scrappy, then enter. This will create a virtual environment of Python inside scrappy Python virtual environment folder. Then to activate cd script with s capital. If we use the comment prompt, it will show us that scripts with capital S contains the activate prompt. Enter after add activate prompt. We now inside our Python virtual environment which called Scrappy. Now to finish installing our virtual environment, we will 
at pip install scrappy inside our virtual environment as you see it will install all the scrappy module inside our python virtual environment scrappy now that we have scrappy in our toolbox let's take a closer look at the structure of a scrappy project understanding this structure is key to building robust and scalable web scrapping applications and there you have it follow data adventures we have unlocked the secrets of setting up your environment for python and scrappy now you are ready to embark and thrilling data extraction journeys if you enjoyed this video and want to continue your data extraction course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We have more exciting content coming your way. Until next time, happy coding!